Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Megan with Believe in the Run. And we got a treat for you today. We are going to be talking about the... Saucony Triumph 20. And before we get started, Meg, what do we always got to talk about? We got to talk about socks. Bomba socks. They're sponsoring this video and we want to put them on your feet. The best way to do that is to use our code BITR20, save 20% off your first purchase. And don't forget what happens if you do that. If you purchase a pair of socks, they donate a pair of socks. So get yourself a pair, help out someone in need. It's a win-win. The socks feel good on your feet. They wick the sweat, they keep the blisters away. They do all the things that you expect from an athletic sock. And like she said, there's a mission behind it. So get on with the mission. We're talking about the Saucony Triumph 20, which is Saucony's max cushion shoe, if yeah, you will. Max cushion daily trainer. We're, I'm gonna give you a little teaser. Stay tuned, because Megan and I don't necessarily agree on this shoe. Normally, we're pretty spot on about shoes. Yeah. Like, if you like it, I like it, vice versa. You are sometimes a little more critical than I am, but in this case, there's gonna be a little bit of a debate here. Let's get on with the upper. Meg, what did you like or didn't like about the upper? First of all, I really like this colorway. So let's just talk aesthetics real quick. I like this gray with the pink accent, the gold, it's fun. And the outsole has this very fun camo pattern. Anyway, I think Saucony did a great job with the look here. So way to go. Wait, as long as we're talking about looks, Meg, I got the Smurf version, okay. it's blue. You can see they that. They did pa less well with that Papa one. Papa Smurf over here. <laughs> I do like the off tones, like kind of like a putty gray that you have on my midsole. You can't really, it's hard to see it, but if you see it next to the white, you can kind of tell. I don't get the fun. Like on the bottom here, you just have straight up red rubber. But anyway, let's actually talk about the performance aspect I'm here. So you have a very, I would say plush upper here. The tongue is highly padded. The collar and heel is highly padded. The upper itself is pretty substantial. It's not your like very thin material. You've got a couple layers here. I mean, that's what you're going to get out of a shoe that's built for comfort. They add in that extra cushioning. Even the uh, sock liner has that I think this is the it's Power Run Plus. Power Run Plus. All to give you that comfort around the foot. You've got this kind of lock system coming over the top. I really struggle with this aspect of the shoe. So I felt like my laces were not quite long enough. So in order to make them a little longer, I figured I would just cinch up um, and tighten up the laces a bit. It's really hard to do so with this extra layer here. You kind of have to do one at a time. By the time you actually get to here, you realize you've done it too tight and then you got to restart and it's a whole, it's a whole thing. And you're a busy lady. <laughs> I don't have time for this. <laughs> I don't have time for it. This reminds me of something that Saucony seems to not be able to give up. And that's that ISO fit that they used oh, to yeah. have. They love this. They want that arch lockdown. So every time I feel like they're having trouble with the shoe or they want to give it that extra, I don't know, running store, you know, vibe of like, hey, we can get this locked down with this extra arch lockdown. They throw these things in here and this reminds me a lot of that ISO fit that they got rid of. It's like, why won't it die? I don't know, but they brought it back here in the Triumph. But you seem to be just fine with the lacing system. The lacing system worked fine for me. You can see here, I've laced it up pretty tight in the throat. I mean, you complain the laces were too short. They were too short and then I cinched it up and then I felt like the upper was too, too tight on my wide foot. I never really got a, a, a fit that I felt was comfortable and plush like, like I was anticipating. Okay. Where I found the shoe had a little bit of an issue is it doesn't have a super secure heel counter. And that's weird because it's super padded. So you'd think that naturally it would catch your ankle and you wouldn't have any heel lift. So let's talk about the big slab of foam that we got under here. You got 37 millimeters in the heel, 27 in the forefoot for a 10 millimeter drop. And this is all Power Run Plus. Wait, 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 wait. Can we describe Power Run Plus? There's Power Run Pro, there's Power Run Plus, there's regular Power Run, and there one more, Power Run PB. This one is Power Run Plus. It's a TPU-based super critical foam. You can kind of see, I don't even know if it's super critical, pellet style foam. You can see on the bottom here, it's got that like styrofoam popcorn-y kind of uh -huh. look to it. I felt like this was really nice underfoot. And this is where you and I are gonna have a little bit of a difference of opinion. I felt like this has that cushion. It has that 
kind of nice soft landing with a bounce off the toe that isn't overly soft so that I felt like you could get into a rhythm with your stride. You could almost say pick up the pace in this shoe and it still felt like you were getting a nice cushion. Now it's not that plush that you're expecting from a max cushion shoe, but I did feel like it gave you the bounce and the fun feeling through the stride. Yeah, so that's where I really had the disconnect. And even as I'm holding it here, it the foam feels good. Like it feels light, it it stretches fine, it bends. Stretches. I mean it bends, you it's know flexible. what I mean. But out on the run, it just felt firm and I hate to use this word, but a little dead to me. Like mm. it didn't have that You're dead to responsive, <laughs> light, max cushion feel that I was hoping for with this shoe. What's interesting about that is you are a resident Kush lover. Like yeah. I don't think there's anyone in our entire outfit here that loves cushion as much as you do. I know, which is why I was really excited to try out their Max Cushion shoe, or the, the latest version of it. Out on the roads, it didn't work for me. It felt a little too firm, not enough responsive, bouncy. I really wanted to love it, because like I said, the aesthetics are great. It feels great in my hand. On paper, it makes sense but it just didn't work. I actually feel bad a little bit because I feel like I went out for the first run and I came back, I was like, Meg, you're gonna love this shoe, it's great, I like it a lot. This shoe was one of the only shoes this year that really kind of reminded me of one of my favorite shoes, the Nova Blast 3. I was like, this shoe could be somewhat competition for that shoe, although it's more expensive. This will cost you 160 bucks. Which is also, I have to note, $10 more than the Saucony Endorphin Shift, which also has a higher stack. So if you're looking at the two, I gotta say, the Shift wins in my opinion. I do like the Shift and at a lower cost, I think that it does a lot of good work. Getting down to the rubber here though, and finishing off the shoe, traction was fine. I didn't have any issues with grip. This seemed to be able to handle it all. I felt pretty secure running in this. Yeah, no issues with traction. I think you'll get a lot of miles out of this shoe. Um, one thing we didn't mention was the weight. My women's seven and a half came in at 8.3 ounces or 236 grams. And this never happens to me. This one in a size 10 and a half, 10 ounces even. Like you don't have to worry about it. 285 grams. And I feel like for a shoe with this much cushioning that you can use as a daily trainer and has this nice bounce, I felt like the shoe still felt like where you said it felt dead, I still felt like I was getting a bounce out of it every time I pulled it out. My last run, I was gonna go easy and I ended up running into a group of women that are training for the Baltimore Marathon and wanted to uh, kind of keep up with them on their uh, pace. And so I picked up the pace a little bit. I felt like the shoe was responsive enough to you know, go a little faster and just hang in there. So I was really enjoying this shoe. If we were gonna give this a light, for me, it's a red. Oh, a red? Why, why, would, wow. you, why um, would you choose this when you have so many other options? I'm still, cause there's people that love Saucony and love the Triumph line. I think this is one of the we best. Can, we can make it a yellow if you wanna say I, yours wait, is green. I'm gonna say this is one of the best Triumphs ever. Oh. I'm gonna give it a green because it is the best Triumph I've ever worn. I felt like the previous models that people loved, those I did feel like were dead underneath and they just kind of felt flat. So this one's an improvement on those. People who love those are gonna love this shoe. I guess for a combined, we could go yellow. Yeah, and I, like I don't, I don't hate the shoe. You I hate just, it, she hates it. I don't hate it, I just think there are so many other options. All right, so <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed the review. Don't forget to use BITR20 if you're gonna purchase some Bomba socks. Other than that, we'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Tell some friends about it, turn on notifications, all that jazz. But if you wanna learn how to run better and it has nothing to do with shoes, you can tune in to... We have two podcasts, Fuel for the Soul, which is our podcast with Megan Featherston, where we talk all things nutrition and hydration for performance. Then we have The Drop, which is our weekly podcast where we talk a lot of nonsense and then interview an expert or someone cool in the industry. Yeah, we do kind of do little shoe reviews on the podcast as well. Probably cover this shoe. Didn't we already? Maybe. Maybe. All right. Um, anyway, tune in for those. Check us out on Instagram. And if you're in London, see you there. Hi, I'm Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Megan with Believe in the Run. Mm, what a treat, we got Megan back again. And we're very excited to talk about the Saucony. 
Uh, wow, you gotta sound a little more excited. Now. <laughs> All right, let's we try that again. About. I wanted to say endorphin, and then I was like, no. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm always right. ready.